Hello, I'm Paul Cullier and I'm at Natural Resources Wales Senior Reserve Manager and I manage our National Nature Reserves here in Pembrokeshire. Today we're on the Castle Martin Peninsula where we manage the Stackpole National Nature Reserve in partnership with the National Trust. This is a really amazing place for wildlife and that's reflected in all the designations it has to help protect it, such as being a special area of conservation. Each year we undertake monitoring of the seabird colonies and we have data sets going back to the late 1970s. These long-term data sets are really important to help us uh, provide advice to protect these sites into the future. We're at Stackpole Head where we have one of our colonies of guillemots and there's about 500 of these birds here but along the whole coastline here there's about 15,000 guillemots. The other member of the Orc family we have are the Razorbills and they're in much smaller colonies and there's around 1,300 of those birds along the Castle Martin coast. These uh, colonies are noisy, active places with the birds flying to and fro to the sea where they dive to catch fish. We also count the other gulls like the herring gulls and the blackback gulls and we also have a few kittiwakes remaining though these have declined from several hundred pairs in past years. We think this is due to the lack of food availability. But we do have a few numbers of puffins nesting along this length of coast. Seabirds can be very long-lived, with guillemots and razorbills living for 20 or 30 years, if not more. It's amazing to think that some of the birds we're counting today featured in the first counts in the late 1970s, perhaps. If you want to visit this exhilarating area and see the dramatic cliff scenery and watch these amazing birds, then visit our website to find out more about the Stackpole National Nature Reserve. <laughs>